Professor Paul Mumba from the Zimbabwe Open University. Uh, I'm the original director from the National Regional Campus. And also, I'm the professor in charge of education in the National Campus. We have come here to Mashua Postal Show to showcase um, various programs that we have. That I learned the theme uh, for this year, promoting development and stability through, in our case now, school open and electronic now learning. So we call that hotel, open and distance electronic learning. So our vision basically is to be the investor of purpose, the investor of choice. Uh, in open and distant learning, um, the world over. So we are here to display the various programs that we have from the various faculties. We have uh, faculty of agriculture, faculty of arts and heritage studies, faculty of education, faculty of science. Faculty of uh, Technology. We have come up with uh, degrees like Master's in Development Studies, which is a key degree in developing the nation, the various facets of the nation. We are also a university that works and in growth or in partnership with the, the Angel of Hope Foundation, which is a foundation that was uh, formed by the First Lady to empower women in this country. So we are moving out uh, into districts, into the doorsteps of people in the communities, training them in various courses like uh, business management, uh, entrepreneurship studies, sign language, because we want to move with everybody towards the economic growth like the, the policy of the country that uh, our vision 2030 is to leave no one behind. So we want to leave no one behind in terms of development. And uh, we are actually uh, providing uh, the communities with such skills. We also train them in ECD, early childhood development, which is ECD. Um, we also train them in um, uh, issues to do with counseling, basic counseling, because they are quite a number of problems that are befalling members of society today. So we need to have uh, capacitate these people so that they can solve problems that arise in that context. Our module is the best so far in this country. I think even beyond because if you look at many investors, yes, they have their names, but if, if you look at the teacher, the module, our module is the teacher in most, almost every university today. So we are very proud that uh, we are producing quality teaching material that is teaching students um, in our university and also even in other universities um, to look at it. So we are very proud. We want to teach students while least they are even at their homes or at their workplaces. So it's an anytime anywhere policy. You can learn anytime, anywhere, while well, you are at work, while well, you are earning. That's our philosophy. So we are here and we've been here since uh, Wednesday um, to display our knowledge uh, of uh, teaching, our knowledge of research. If you look to my left, we have quite a number of uh, books that are published by uh, colleagues in our university. Uh, we have also journal articles that are being published uh, by members in our university. And we are also researching into various issues because we have a farm where we conduct researches on milk production, why some cows produce more milk, why some cows produce less milk, and then what is the strategy? How, how can we improve such kind of milk production? So we are also in innovation and industrialization as a university because we must follow 
the five pillars of education 5.0, which is basically teaching, research, uh, innovation, industrialization, and community engagement. We go out to train various institutions. Um, for example, we have trained Mashingo Municipality on customer care and public relations, and uh, we certificated them. We also trained the, the, the people at the local markets, the steamer people. Yes, we engaged them in a training for about three weeks, and we certificated them on the business management and entrepreneurship studies. So it's a community service. That's how we engage with the community. Recently, we had a research workshop at the Great Zimbabwe Hotel, where we were deliberating on culture and heritage studies. That, that was the main theme of the research. And we realized that uh, we need to maintain our culture, because it is the fountain upon which development